In this video, we're going to go ahead and start working on our reload system. So in the last one, whenever we ran out of ammo, all we would do is we simply, we just wouldn't fire at all. So now we want to build a caller reload function and have that one, we want it to trigger our animations and all that kind of stuff. And two, we want to be able to actually add take ammo from our extra ammo pile, which was this variable here, our current total ammo, and add it to our current magazine ammo, assuming we have enough remaining. So uh, first things first, I actually want to make a slight change. I never, we set this up where we never actually use hit actor. And I don't know why I keep doing this, because casting actually works with null pointers. It's safe. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to remove this if statement, just to shorten it up by a couple lines, and do the same thing here, because we're also not using it. But well, we are in here, and that's it. So what we're going to do is, wait, no, never mind. I remember why we're doing it now. Ignore me. So I'm going to take hit actor, just use that for the cast instead of instead of uh, the get actor. I'm going to do the same thing here in our normal fire function. Just replace it with hit actor. So now we want to set up our reload. So I want to make reload to return a boolean, again like our fire. So replace void with bool, same thing with weapon base. So that way it will, oh, we also need to return true or false in here. I'm just going to set it to return true by default in our weapon base. And now back into our weapon semi, we can continue. So what I want to make it do is, first off, I want to make sure we have enough we have ammo at all. So if current total ammo is greater than zero, greater than zero, And I want to make sure our current magazine ammo does not equal mag magazine max ammo, so that way we're not going to reload if we're full. So if current magazine ammo does not equal max, what was it called? Magazine max ammo. So if both those are the case, what we're going to do is we're going to return true. Otherwise, we're going to return false. So this will uh, allow us to only reload if we have ammo to reload with, and our current magazine ammo is not completely full. So we don't just you know, do something pointless. So let's see. Now what we need to do is we need to take ammo, or the values from our current total ammo, and put them in current magazine ammo. So let's get the value. So well, for max magazine ammo, actually. Well, actually, let's see. Let's do int difference equals magazine max ammo minus current magazine ammo. So we know the difference. We're going to subtract that from current total ammo. So if, let's see here. We'll do that afterwards. So. I'll explain what I'm doing here in a second. So we're going to take current total ammo minus equals the difference. Then we're going to take current magazine ammo and set it equal to magazine max ammo. So there is going to be a slight problem with this. And this is just for the early like setup of it. And that is if, let's say we have a magazine that holds 30, and our current total ammo value is only 5. Well, if we empty that magazine of 30 and we go to reload, well, what we're going to end up doing is we're going to subtract 
current total ammo by difference, which is going to be way more than five. So current total ammo is going to be a negative number. And then we're going to be refilling the magazine to full. So we're going to end up making a change for that, obviously. But for now, this will this will do. So now in our Nazi zombie character, let's create an on reload. So I'm going to do virtual void. Actually, we're not going to be overriding, so we're going to do void on reload. Create the implementation. And we need to set up a binding for it. So let's go to set up player input component. I'm going to copy this bind action. I'll change interact to reload and change interact or the function call to on reload. Now what we need to do is if current weapon and current weapon reload, we're gonna perform our reload. So we're already triggering the reload function in our uh, weapon. So what we could do here, if we wanted to, we could start playing the actual weapon animation, as well as play the reload montage on uh, our character arms. And that's what we're going to do. So I'm going to copy this entire first person fire animation dealio that we have in our on fire, paste it in our reload. Then I'm going to change this. So what we're going to do is we're going to start playing the montage. And we're going to jump to the section called reload. And then we compile. Now, if you recall, for that section, let me go back to it. So here's our montage. We have these uh, sections here. So we have fire ADS, fire hip, and reload. Reload plays, obviously, the reload animation. So once this is done, we're going to go ahead and bind this, uh, bind the input called reload in the engine, and then give it a test and see, you know, if it works. Okay. Go to settings, project settings, input, create a new action mapping, and call it reload. So I'm going to set it to the R key, like so, and save all, and let's just see what happens. So I press R, nothing happens, I shoot, press R, and I perform the reload. So I empty it, so I'm at zero ammo, I'm left clicking and I can't fire, I reload, and I can shoot again. So that's nice and set up. So I'm going to go ahead and actually open the weapon again real quick. I think I added something for the reload animation. Yes, I did. So we already have a simple animation for the reload. So to keep it simple, let's actually call that animation. If we look at fire, what we do is if fire animation, we play the animation. What we're going to do is if reload animation, we play the animation. Ta-da! Yeah, simple. So if reload animation, play reload animation. And now we have a basic reload setup in place. The only thing we're going to have to do next in the next video is set this up to work for clients. So currently this is not uh, networked. This is only going to be running on the client. We want to set this up so that it runs on the server as well, so the server knows that the client reloaded. So let's give it a try, empty the gun, reload. As you can see, the weapon is animating along with the hands and everything just is just fine. We're going to have to do some changes as well. As you can see, I press R. I can press R and it's just an instant reload. I'm trying to run the ammo out. 
I think I forgot to. Oh, nope, I'm completely out of ammo. So, I can no longer reload, I can no longer shoot. Golly, that actually has a lot of browns in it. Oh, no, it's only 98. I guess because it's only 7 shots. So, yeah, we'll end up changing that later. So, yeah, we now have our reload animation in place. I'm going to do a quick step through. Are you great? Yeah, no, it's redundant. Alright, so whenever we press R, what we do is we check if the weapon's valid, and if we return true from our reload function. So that reload function goes through, checks if we have ammo in the magazine as well as extra ammo to be able to reload with. Then we play the reload animation. We do a little bit of moving from the ammo, from our current total ammo to a magazine ammo, which this is going to be reworked, obviously, so it's actually working properly. And we return true. If we don't have enough ammo and anything to reload, or our magazine is full, we return false. So if it's true, all we do is we simply play the animation in our montage. So we play the uh, reload animation part of our montage, and that's all. I think I'm going to end up actually changing up the um, our weapon base to, instead of having all these animations, Instead of having animations like one for fire, you know, one for you know all that kind of stuff, I think I'm going to make a single montage and have that control it, so that way it'll all be inside of one single montage for the weapon. But that'll be if we do do that. That'll be after we do the uh, weapon or we finish up the reload system. So now that that's out of the way, I will see you in the next one.